Hi, we're week one, exercise workout one. So good luck. Make sure you've got lots of water before you start. Make sure that you've done the warm up before we start. And when we finish, I need to also make sure you do the, the cool down and the stretch at the end. Okay, so good luck. And we're on our way. Three, two. So first one. exercise, band on the floor. We're going to start with a squat. So you want the weight to come to your heels. Low level or high level. So you're looking to keep your weight in your heels, shoulders back. So you decide with or without impact, level one or stick with level two. You're going to work for those 30 seconds as hard as you can because you've got to rest okay. coming up. So I'm going to stay with the low. You're going to work to your own level. Remember if you've not done a lot of exercise, take it easy to start off with. Ten seconds left. Well done. Okay, take a little rest. 15 seconds rest. Your next exercise is going to be with the band. So you've chosen the resistance that suits you. We're going to move to a bicep curl. Single foot, tension the band, shoulders down, bicep curl. So we're aiming to draw the palm towards your shoulder. Curl in nice and smooth. So again, try not to lean backwards. Easy, smooth movement. Keep it flowing. Halfway try down. to avoid jerking the band. Control its release. Well done, come on, we're nearly there. So we use the band for the next exercise. We move into a split leg lunge. We take our right leg back. We're going to lift the heel. So front weight's on. We lift the heel. We drop the knee towards the floor. So your weight wants to be in your heel more or less in your front leg. Toes should feel nice and loose. We're not looking for this knee to come over the toe. We're looking to draw your back knee towards the floor. As you split leg lunge, you're aiming to keep your body upright, so tuck your pelvis under. Halfway there. Keep going for as long as you can. The lower your split leg lunge, the more challenging it's going to be. So start small, spine upright, and then gradually make your movements a little bit bigger. Well done. Okay, next one. We're going to pick up these bands and then we're going to shoulder press. So we either, if you're tall, you only want one leg in, or two legs in, it's going to make it harder. We'll lift the band to shoulder height, press forwards. So we lift with a sliding forwards. Breathe out as you press in as you release. Again, we're looking for a control movement. Try and do as many doubles as you can. If you're starting to suffer, come into singles. So it's singles or doubles. You choose. So again, keep the reps going. Slow it down if you need to, but try and get as many in as you can in that 30 seconds. Nice big press. Come on, last 10. Well done. Slowly yeah. release. Okay, we've got a left leg. So exactly the same as a split leg lunge on your right leg. Now we take the left leg back. Lift your heel. Shoulders back. Nice upright spine. Scoop the pelvis under just slightly. And again, check your knees not coming over your toes. Think about landing this inside knee, your left knee, on a cushion or on a stool. Keep going. This is tough if you've not done exercise in a while. Make it bigger if you're used to doing a lot of leg work. Come 
Come on, keep it going. We need you down. Last ten. Ah, uh, well done. Excellent work. Okay, we can pick up. And we're going to work a chest press. So we bring the band behind. Tension the band. Press away. You can hold these handles if you prefer. Press. Press. So make sure you've got enough tension so you really feel that resistance. Imagine you're pushing something really heavy away from you. Upper body should be still. Halfway there. Shoulders should be relaxed. Okay, a little bit more tension, I think. So press. So you thread the band between your finger and your thumb. Ten seconds left. So you're pushing the heels of your hands away. Oh, well done. Okay, we've done round one. Round one. So we're quarter the way through. 15 seconds rest. So you get a little rest. Take on board some water. And we've got a tricep dip. So we're going to thread the band behind and press. Easy, smooth movement. Press and push. Stabilize your elbow if you need to. Halfway there. Now we change sides. So we go and we change sides. Hold your hand. Gently press. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two. One third. Okay, this is how you need just your chair. With the hill climber, we've either got the chair or the floor. This is your easy option. Hands beside the chair, pushing down. One leg in front, one leg behind, as fast as you can. So that's your easier option. Or we come to the floor and then we do exactly the same thing. Okay? So you choose level one, level two. If you have a back condition, you might want to use the chair, so pushing down. Try not to push the chair away. Push your weight down to the chair. Or you may want to choose the floor. If you choose the floor, make sure your whole palm is resting on that floor. Okay, so you're not on your fingers. Ten seconds left. So last ten. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we've got to press up. So you may want to get yourself a mat, bring yourself down onto the mat, hands going to be underneath your shoulders, you're going to soften through the elbows and then push out. So this is your floor press up, make sure your weight comes to the front of your fingertips. If you're doing it against the wall, okay, again, same principles apply, you're going to bring the weight forward and push out, keep your spine Nice and long. Keep your back supported. So choose the floor, or choose a chair, or choose the side. What you're aiming to do as you come down is to keep your shoulders back and your heart lifted. So we come down and press. So nose wants to come down, fingertip height. Keep your chin off your chest. So that's your press then. Okay, bring yourself back up. We've now got a burpee. So we're going to add it to our burpee if you've got back issues on your chair. So we go out, in, with a little jump. Out, in, with a little jump. Or we can do it on the floor. So a little more energetic on the floor. Down, push out, tuck it in. Okay? So those are your two options. You choose, keep it nice and clean. Support your back as you flick out those legs. Try and work for as much of the 30 seconds as you can. Keep going right to the end. So we keep going with that burn here. Keep going. 10 
You're nearly there. Come on, last ten. Come on, push it to the end. Two. One. Well done. Take a little rest. Fifteen seconds rest. Okay, belly hops. With the chair, we all need a chair for this one. Hands on the chair, feet together. Little lift. Or a big hop, side to side. So the key is to keep your feet together, shoulders relaxed. So this round's a little bit more challenging, okay? If you're getting tired, make it a little flip. Keep those knees together. Keep those feet together, okay? So work as hard as you can for those full 30 seconds. Even if you're getting tired, try and just slow down, but keep your body moving. We have that rest of the 30 seconds coming up. Ten seconds left. Come on, last 10. Finish those bunny hops. Four, three, two. Well done. Good work. Yeah. 15 seconds left. Have a little rest. Okay, challenging one to finish off. We've got a squat hold. So we're going to bring the feet parallel. Come down to just make sure these come over your toes and then we're just going to hold for that 30 seconds or as long as you can. If you can hold for 30, fantastic. If not, it doesn't matter. After this, we're halfway through. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, come a little bit lower. If you're feeling it a little bit too much, come a little bit higher. So good to breathe. Breathe through this one. We're nearly done. Come on, cut down those seconds. Here we go. Come on, you're nearly there. We get a bit of a longer rest of this one. Four, three, two. Well done. All the way up. And two. Excellent work. We now have 45 seconds rest. Okay, so take a more water. Grab your bands back, because this set you're going to need your bands. We now have 20 seconds rest. Okay, so well done. Take on board your water. Get yourself back into position. Single leg. Take a band. It's going to be easier than doubles. We're going to draw the shoulder blades back. We've got a frontal raise, so we bring the band forwards. Keep your elbows slightly soft. Lean into that front leg just slightly. Breathe out as you let breathe in as you release. Singles are going to be easier. If you can manage doubles, that's fantastic. So you choose what you want to go with this. Try and work as many reps as you can for those 30 seconds. Come on, keep going. We're over halfway through. Ten seconds left. Come on, last ten. These are tough. Nice strong rests. Come on, we're nearly done. Two. Well done. Excellent work. Okay. Now we're back to something a little bit more energetic. You've got a heel kick, so you're going to curl your heels to your bow. You can keep this low with an arm raise, or you can take it up to keep those heels. You choose. So high or low, if you're keeping the low option, make sure you use those arms. So you want to work to earn that 30 seconds rest. So you want to be fairly out of path by now. Halfway there. If you're not, you need to bring the tempo up a bit. Bring those heels in as far as you can to your butt. Come on, last few seconds. <laughs> Come on, we're nearly there. Two, one, up. Good work. Fifteen seconds rest. Okay, we bring the band back into action, so we're alternating the band with the hard step. So we've done front, and now we bring the band out to the side. If you new, take the band out single arm. If 
you're comfortable, both arms. Some singles if you're starting off. Doubles if you're used to doing a weighted workout. And again, keep your wrists strong. Keep your elbows slightly soft. Halfway there. Try and keep your body still as you lift through the arms. Come on, we're over halfway there. Big push. Ten seconds left.
one last time. Keep the wrist strong. Keep your spine on. Three, two, Walter. Okay, next one. Fifteen seconds rest. We've got a forward lunge. So we stand on the left leg. Step forward with the right leg forward and push back. Two, one. So we step forward, shoulders back. Try and keep the spine upright. Use the arms if you want. Just make sure you're not leaning forward into this one. So we're looking for the crown of the tailbone to line up. Try and push away from your heel. Remember the lower you go, the harder this becomes. Come on, stick with it. This is your last round. Ten seconds left. Knee there. Four, three, two. Well done. Excellent. Take a little rest. Seconds rest. Chest press. So we hold the band. Press. Press. So again, you can hold the, you can hold the handles if you want. Tension the band off. Press away. So you're pushing that heavy object away from you. Going right to the end. Ten seconds left. Don't lean backwards. Come on, last big push. Three, two, one. Alt up. We have 15 seconds rest. Okay, we've got forward lunge with the left leg. So exactly the same. We step forward. Four, push back with the heel. Two, one. Our right spine. Nearly finished, you've only got two exercises left. If you're feeling energetic, add those arms. Come on, last two. Keep your body moving. 
right to the end. This is your 10 second bar. Come on, push it right to the end. Last few. Three, two, one. Water. And four, complete. Your workout is now complete. Excellent. Fantastic work. Okay, now get yourself a drink. Let your body cool down a little bit. Keep your feet moving. Put on your cool down. So put your cool down and your stretches on and I'll see you soon. Water. Well